In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a short clip using Ocean Modifier in Blender that can be played repeatedly in a loop. So let us start with a plane. To convert it into an ocean, go to the Modifiers tab and add one, Ocean Modifier. We can customize these fields as per our requirements. For example, let's change these two resolutions to 10. Then under the Waves section, we will also change this alignment field to say 0.25. It will move the waves in this direction, which makes it more realistic. But to enable this wave pattern, we need to animate this time value. So let's keyframe this, and then go to the end of the animation. Here, let's say we change it to 10, with a keyframe. And we need to also animate the scale value. So for the first frame, we need to change the scale factor to 0, under the wave section. It is very important to keep the initial value of this field as 0, for this method to work. Now go to the last frame. We can use any value here, let's say we go with 2, with a keyframe. In the next step, minimize this modifier, and add one more ocean modifier. We have to use the same settings for this, that we have used for the first one, or alternatively, we can delete this. And here we have an option called duplicate. If we use this, we will get an exact copy of the first modifier, only the keyframes will be missing. So we have to make three changes here. First, change this option to Displace. Then we need to animate this time field, but with some change. So for the first frame, we have to use the same value here, which is 10. And for the last frame, we need to double this value, so it will be 20. And we need to keyframe this. Then for the wave scale, we need to simply reverse the keyframes. So for the first frame, we need to use the terminal value, which is 2. And finally for the last frame, we need to change it back to zero, and keyframe this as usual. So in a nutshell, the three changes are here. One is generate, another is displace. The range of the time value is different. And the wave scale has an opposite pair of keyframes in these two modifiers. But by default, these keyframes will follow a Bezier type interpolation, whereas it will look far better if we change them to linear type. So let's open a graph editor. Here, we can see a graph for each field that we have animated, and all the keys are selected by default. If not, press A on your keyboard, and all the keys will get selected. Now go to the key menu, and we have to change this interpolation mode to linear. So these graphs will immediately take a linear form. Then back to the 3D viewport, we can see that the first frame and the last frame of the animation are exactly the same. This is the most important criteria for any video that we want to play in a loop. If we start the simulation, we will see that the ocean is running endlessly in a perfect loop, so our job is well done. Now you can render the scene and use it anywhere with a loop. But you have to ensure that the camera is either fixed or the camera angle is also changing in a loop. So that's all for today. I hope you like this tutorial. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.